Hey guys, welcome back. Look, I promised you I was going to disclose the details of what made us go from bear to a bull. Guys, listen, this is by far the most important video I have actually disclosed and placed on this channel in the last year. If you are a short-term trader, I will disclose some secrets in this video that I have never disclosed on this channel ever before. So if you try to learn how to profit from trading options, how to profit specifically for trading short-term options, weekly options, the options that are going to expire this week, next week, this video is for you. This video is going to be useful if you're a day trader, if you're a swing trader. So stay tuned, pay very close attention. I'm a strong believer that if you're a short-term trader, even if you're partial to a particular side of the equation, let's say, you know, if you're a permanent bear, fine. If you're a permanent bull, that's fine too. But look, guys, when it comes to trading, when we're talking about short-term trading, when we're talking about placing a trade in the morning, getting out of the trade by the end of the day, when we're trying to get in at the end of the day and getting out the next morning, when we're trying to get into a trade and keep the trade on for maybe 24 to 48 to 72 hours, None of that is important. So forget about being a bear. Forget about being a bull. Remember to be a trader. And oftentimes, if you are too glued to one particular side, to being a bear, to be a bull, you will miss what I call a round trip trade. And the round trip trade, if you understand what that is, that is absolutely phenomenal. This is how you will make the most amount of money as a trader. But you've got to know where to look. So in this particular case, I'm going to show you an example specifically of what we were doing on October 29th. And yes, if you were uh, uh, one of our VIP alert subscribers, a part of the service is you get a number of alerts throughout the day. They give you a little market commentary that tells you exactly what kind of trades we're pursuing. So here's the alert that actually went out on Monday when the markets were going higher. So if you've been following the markets on October 29th, the markets opened in the green and they were going higher. And there was a lot of bulls that were celebrating and saying, hey, this is the turnaround. Well, we said, look, no, uh, we want to short this market. So when the market was going higher in the morning, this is the alert we send out actually at 9.25 a.m. We were suggesting, here, I'll show you right now. This is the exact alert, okay? So here's Monday, 9.25 a.m. We said buy, 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 Amazon puts at market open. We suggested buying anything from 1,600 strike puts, 1,630, 1,650 puts. At currently, when we send the alert, the Amazon stock was trading at 1,660 bucks. So to show you on the chart what we're doing, okay? So we were sending the alerts to our VIP subscribers to actually short Amazon stock right here and was trading at 1,660. That was October 29th. That very day... Okay, we did have multiple price targets set. First at 1580, when it hit the target there, we started taking some profits. Then we let some of the other positions ride. And every time it bounced, we kept getting the position. And ultimately, the stock drops to $1,495. So basically, this alert was sent out before the market opened, before Amazon dropped $160 when the market environment actually looked very bullish and very positive in the morning. So that alert, however, may not surprise you considering that we're in the market crash channel, that we would be buying puts. I mean, there's a number of other puts we were buying, and some of them are right here. Buy, buy SXI puts, and you can check that out and see how they're done. We're buying BKNG puts and other things as well. The most important alert is the alert that we send out the next morning advising our subscribers to actually right about 10 o'clock, 10.06, to get out. And some, some of the questions that the subscribers were asking me, should we buy more puts? Should we be buying puts? I said, no, guys, get out of puts. And this is what my commenter was. I said, it was a, this looks like a 13, market move 13, which is a bullish reversal. There's a high probability of markets moving higher for the rest of the day and tomorrow. So that was sent out on yesterday. Uh, that was sent out yesterday, which was Tuesday, October the 30th. And so at that moment, we recommended buy, buy, buy Amazon calls. So we went from buying puts to buying calls 
within the first 30 minutes of the market trade. We're recommended buying calls in Amazon 1550, 1580, all the way to 1600 strikes. We actually suggested our target price on Amazon, our short term target price was 1620 bucks. We sent it out at 10 17 in the morning when the current Amazon price at the time was 1500 and 11 bucks. We also suggested buying Google Google calls at 1050, 1060, 1070 strikes. Now you're going to say, well, what's the big deal, right? Okay, well, the big deal is, number one, we advised our subscribers to get out of the puts right here, okay, while it looked like the market was falling because that's exactly what the market was still doing early on Tuesday morning. October the 30th, when the market opened, it actually went lower. It started growing in the red. So we were saying instead of adding to the puts, we were saying getting out of the puts. And shortly after that, we said close. After you close all the puts, immediately start buying calls on Amazon. Now, we actually happened to do that and send that alert before Amazon stock price rose 120 bucks. I'll show you in just a second. Now, there was multiple alerts sent. The last one we sent out was at 3.30 p.m. And so this is the 3.30 p.m. alert. As you can see at 3.33, we said buy Amazon calls at the time they were going for 10.50. Current, at the time the alert was sent, Amazon was trading at $1,518. And we still had a target price of $1,620. Bucks. Now, there's some of the comments that went out saying, look, $1,500 is a strong support level point that this bounce could happen fast. So fast forward uh, a little bit further. This is what we got. So this is the alerts that were going out at around 10 o'clock and around 3.30. And here's what we got the next day, October 31st. Amazon hits 1623 bucks. So here's the times where the alerts were sent out on October 30th when Amazon was trading. And then this range right here, 15.11, 15 15.26. Uh, we were recommending buying this 15.80 calls. At the time, they were 10 bucks. This morning, they were going as much as $45. That's over 400% returns. For the rest of the day, Amazon basically was trading between, you know, 1600 and 1620 bucks in that range. So the target price was hit. Now, here's the point of the round trip trade. So to have you guys take a closer look, uh, when it's time to be a bear, it's time to be a bear. When it's time to be a bull, then you need to be a bull. So as a trader, okay, so we were basically suggesting our VIP alert subscribers to be buying puts when Amazon was trading at 1660 bucks. When the market continued to drop in the morning on October 30th, we said, get out of puts and start buying calls. We did, and we send multiple alerts to buy calls right here and to buy calls right here. The next day, we're at sixteen hundred twenty bucks. That's today, October thirty first. Okay, so what is the point here? Well, if, if we were continued to be, you know, bears, 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 as we have been over the course of the last few weeks, especially, and we've been a bear in Amazon stock since it was hitting levels of two thousand, two thousand fifty. There's multiple videos that's been posted on this channel advising. Uh, traders to get on the put side and so when we observe the situation where the reversal is taking place we don't want to remain bears and we certainly don't want our subscribers to remain bears so as you can see we clearly said get out get out of puts start buying calls okay as frightening as it was because you know, there was multiple times where it looked like Amazon was just going to keep dropping. And, you know, so things were getting a little shaky. But um, after we noticed some positive volume, everything, we kept sending out the alerts to keep buying these Amazon calls towards the end of the day as well. And so for those that did take advantage of this, they've locked in some substantial gains here on the way lower. And they've locked in substantial gains on the way higher. Okay, so what is the point here? Well, if you're a trader, if you're trying to figure out how did we do it, how did we pull it out? Because clearly now, if you're looking at the chart, well, it just looks too easy. Okay, so you buy when it's high, you close it here, and then you open the calls. Guys, when the actual market is happening, and if you're trading with a real live account, and you've got you know a bunch of money stuck into a trade, you're going to get nervous at some point. Uh, the market is going to test you. So how do you actually stay calm? How do you actually try to make sure that you persevere and you stay with the trade? Uh, so there's many things that we use. But one thing to identify such reversals in the market on a day-to-day -day basis, we actually use a formula. It is a 13 markets move formula and I'm going to give you I'm not going to give you all 13 market moves if you want to do that you can take a course it's a five hour plus course showing you 
how the moves work and what to look for. But here's here's the main point right here. Move 13 example, I'm going to do this. This is how move 13 looks. Okay, so you got major, major sell-off coming and then followed by a huge buying on, on huge volume. As you can see right here on the volume side, when the buy side comes in, it happens very, very fast on high volume. Okay, here's another example of a move 13. Here's how it looks on, on your one day, one minute chart. Okay, it can also look like this. See, here's a sell off followed by a huge rise. Okay, so let me show you some of the things that we started observing actually in the last 15 minutes of October 29th. And I'm going to give you just a couple of examples. I'm not going to go through a ton of them. It's sometimes it's not just the move itself, but it's understanding the characteristic of the move and the behavioral patterns of the move is what's going to make you successful in determining what's actually going to happen next. So if you understand, number one, what the move is, if you understand the behavior and the characteristic of the move, then you will know what to look for. And then the next step is to observe the sequences of these moves. A little bit more on that in just a second. So focus right here. Characteristics of move 13 observed late in the day on October 29th. And I'm just using Google as an example. But do you see this in the last 30, 15 minutes? Do you see this right here? It looks just like a move 13. Now move 13 typically uh, actually happens in the morning. So this is a very odd place. But it definitely we observed characteristics of the move 13. If we actually take a look at the entire day, it was a move too. The market start higher. It went lower. It's a bearish move. And we can't trade in that is a bearish move but towards the end of the day we had this we had a move 13 characteristic we observed now by itself this is not enough to say oh we have a turnaround let's just go ahead and start buying calls here so we needed to get some more confirmation so i'll give you another example right here so this is the same thing happening with actually s p 500 futures as you can see right going into the close do you see how quickly i mean s p 500 literally was down over 60 70 points and then within 15 minutes it literally went up by 40 points so you see, you have that move lower we've been selling 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 off the whole day and we finally made this huge drop lower and followed by a huge bounce real real quick and look at the volume do you see the volume right here on the bounce so this is a definite characteristic of a move 13 now that by itself is not just enough because of the time of the day when it actually happens most of the move 13 type situations they happen right after the market opens after the market's been dropping substantially for a number of days and you'll have this flushed up situation so in this case this was not the time of the day where you would typically observe a market move 13 especially on on a two day so here's what we observed the next day which actually made us literally scream at our subscribers to close close the puts and start buying calls so characteristics of move 13 observed late in the day number one right here on the 29th and look the same thing happens when the market actually opened on October 30th, which was Tuesday yesterday. So when the market opened, we had repetition of the same thing. And so now we actually had the correct timing of the day for move 13. And so the timing of the day was such that at the market open, they continued to sell off, followed, followed by huge buy volume. So now we've got a consecutive confirmation that indeed what we witnessed the night before was indeed the first sign of a reversal in the market. So here was the first sign. Here was the second sign consecutively the morning at the market open, which matches based of our formula, specific time and requirement to make it a definite characteristic of a move 13. So we couldn't ignore that. As you can see, once we noticed that, we immediately notified our VIP alert subscribers that it's time to close out the puts and open the calls. And why would we tell them to open the calls? Well, it's important, okay, to understand this, okay? The most important thing is not just understanding the move, like, oh, it's a move two, or it's a move seven, or it's a move 13. It's important to understand the sequence, and more importantly, the probability of the sequence that actually follows it. So in different times, you'll have sequences 13.17, 13.57, 13.7, 1.51, and so on. So if you study the formula, you're going to be able to observe the sequences, and you're going to be able to know what to do with them specifically. And so by observing the sequences, you will notice that some sequences have a higher probability than some of the other ones. And that's what's going to be able to actually stay just a step ahead of what the market is doing. And clearly, if you're able to do that as a day trader, as a swing trader, then you will be able to put the right option strategy to work 
for you. So if you want to identify the next market move before it actually happens, I strongly recommend taking the 13 markets move course. You can click the links below this video. There is a link that says 13 markets move formula course. Okay, this is an advanced day trading and swing trading course for traders looking to go to the next level. Lastly, I'm going to say this, that after a move 13 definite characteristics, I'll tell you this, the, after the bullish reversal 13, a lot of times the market will consecutively go higher anywhere from two to eight, nine days in a row with an average being of about two to three days higher after you notice this. So if we go back, you will see that when we noticed this definite characteristic of a 13, the alert specifically said, this is what it said, high probability of markets moving higher for the rest of the day and tomorrow. And that's exactly what we got. So guys, if you are aspiring to become a better trader, a better day trader, a better swing trader, simply schedule a 20 minute coaching consultation with myself or a senior trader here. Get all your questions answered. Take advantage of this 13 markets move course. Make this trading year your best year ever. Thanks for watching guys. I'll catch you in the next video.